it may not feel like it some days that the toasty temperatures are back, but they are slowly climbing. They really are. And as the heat rolls in, it is important to stay hydrated and keep cool to avoid those emergency room visits. This is where Tucson's site of boss has more. Last year in Pima County, we saw more than 60 heat related deaths. That is a difficult reality, especially for those that are living without a roof. Can you imagine what living outside during the heat feels like? Just ask Katie and Jamal, who've been doing that for a few years. It was way too hot. It's a lot of uh, ups and downs, but uh, a lot of hospital trips. Yeah, both of us got hospitalized yeah, because the, we, we got, both of us almost died yeah. last year. In Maricopa County, over 600 people died, and that is the highest number of heat-related deaths ever recorded and was a 52% increase from the year before. Dr. David Scalar is an emergency room physician here in Arizona. He wants to share his concerns and what can be done to change this so lives can be saved. We started to get patients coming in who had temperatures of 107, 108, 110, 111. They were unconscious and they were in really severe distress and uh, they were clearly close to death. And day after day, and sometimes more than one. So that was what really alerted me to the fact that we had something rather unusual and something really quite terrible going on in our community. Dr. Scalar says he'd like to see increased education on this, outreach, coordination and training for those who are high risk. He wants to see a better understanding of why heat related deaths happen in the first place so they can be prevented. In Midtown, Saida Abbas, News for Tucson. Well, take care of your skin, but it really is all about safety first before having.